honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Today I'm getting ready to use my Instant Pot pressure cooker. I'll be making some canned red beans and rice. And I'm going to season it with onion, bacon, uh, and chicken wing tips. I've already washed these. Um, I'll be using chicken broth. So let's get started. And of course my seasonings. Okay, I have to crank this down. This is my Instant Pot. My 8 quart Instant Pot Duo. So, I'm going to put it on the saute setting. I don't even know how much li uh, liquid is in here because I've used this before. I say it's about a cup left up in here of chicken broth. So I'm gonna put this in here. And of course, I'll be adding more liquid than this because I'm going to cook my rice right in the beans. these chicken wings up in here so they can be sautéed. Five little wing tip thingies. Not the whole wing, just the wing tips. This helps season. And of course I'm going to pick this out before we eat the red beans and rice. Don't nobody want that kind of stuff. I'm going to drop this onion in here. Is peeling it first. I always save my onion when I don't use all of it. I'm gonna put this little binder clip on the edge of here so when I stir it, it won't go everywhere and stand still. You've already washed my. When I say washed, I mean rinsed. People get on me about saying I wash my chicken wings and sometimes I say rinse. You know, I ain't using no soap to wash no uh, chicken with. I'm just going to drop this whole thing in there because y'all know Walter. He have a fit if he see an onion. I'm going to cut this bacon. It's a new pack. Just regular bacon. Smells good. Just putting this much bacon in there. Okay. I'm seeing it starting to simmer. I see some smoke going on. season it. Then I'll go open these cans. I got different kind of red beans. I got the chili red beans that makes a thick sauce. Light red, kidney beans, Joan of Arc. These are my favorite. Joan of Arc. It's a good brand. And the bushes. Dark red kidney beans. So I'm going to bring these over here. So I'll open them. And I'm throw some seasoning up in there. Oh, I don't know what that is smelling good already. I don't know if it's the bacon or the chicken wings. Okay, I'm using some six pepper blend. I don't measure anything, I just season. And it usually turns out good. And one of my honeys blessed me with two of these. I'm using some garlic powder.
Whenever I use garlic powder, I use onion powder. You know, I got that big old ignorant onion sitting up in there. Of course, I got to use my celery seed. Using uh, ground black pepper, even though I used a six pepper blend. I'm using some black pepper. Another one, my honey blessed me with a big old giant thing of black pepper. I got the best honeys. Turn that thing in the other way. Yep. I think I just want to go on and cook the wings, wing tips. So when I get ready to taste the beans, I won't have to worry about raw wing juice. You know what? I'm gonna add some. Got a little bit of old bay left. I have to find some more. You know I know how to make it. And this has salt in it. So I'm open these cans and I will be back. So I'll show you what's going on in the pot. I just opened up the cans. I'm gonna take this up. That's what's going on in here. So looks like those wings are just about done. I'm going to add all the beans. Okay, I'm adding the beans with the liquid. I like my uh, red beans and rice. I like my red beans to be soupy. I mean, this is the chili beans that thickens it up. Like I said, I have four cans. Because we really like this. And the Joan of Arc dark red kidney beans. And the Bushes dark red kidney beans. And I will be getting all the juice out of these bean cans. Okay. Add my rice, which I already rinsed. Then I'm gonna go get some water out my cooler. How many cups? Let me see. Like a lot of juice, I'm gonna get two cups of water. I will be back. Okay, I got a little over two cups of water. Two and a half cups. Okay, so I'm going to. Uh, Rinse these cans out. I don't like to waste nothing. And that rice still in there. I'm gonna get all this rice. Uh oh. It's about to tear up stuff. And I got regular Riceland rice. This kind of long grain rice. Oh, a mess. Okay. 
see if I got everything in here I want to add. Let's see if the, if the wing looks done. I want to taste this juice before I close this up. I better not. I think I want more juice than this. Let me show you what it's looking like. I think the rice is going to soak up a lot of this juice, but I like my beans juicy. So like I said, I'm going to take the chicken wing tips out. Okay. Do I need more liquid? No. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. The uh, saute function. So it's off. You'll see that. Take this little clip off. Put the lid on. Let me stir this again. I don't want nothing sticking at the bottom. Line these arrows up. Oh, you can see the other arrow. Where is it? I feel it. There's one. This is on there good. I'm putting it in the ceiling. Turn this little lever in the ceiling position. Now, turn it to manual. I want it to cook for six minutes. Okay, I'll just let it do what it does. Okay, now in the meanwhile, I'll make some air fryer wings. I already uh, marinated this last night with mustard and all those seasonings you see over there. I'm hoping my lights don't blow when I uh, use the air fryer and the pressure cooker at the same time. I was going to make barbecue chicken wings. Naked wings and toss them in some barbecue sauce. Do I want that? Or do I want to bread them? I'll have some naked wings. I'll be back. Let me set this up. Okay, yeah, I'll be using my grill pan in my New Wave Grill air fryer. I'm using the parchment paper. And this is the big square one, the extra, extra large. And they don't even have them anymore. So when somebody tells you about something that you've been looking for, you better get right on it if you want it. Because these went out in less than a week. And they don't know when they're going to have any more. So, these wings have already been washed and cut and marinated. I'm making naked wings. I don't have to spray them with no oil since they're naked and they have the skin on them. Got to rearrange these. Touch the chicken anyway. Okay. I don't want the chicken powder on top of one another because it won't cook properly. It'll cook, but not right. So, don't need any oil on the naked wings because the skin makes its own oil. My hands are wet. I'm about to plug that in. I ain't trying to get electrocuted around here. Okay. 
Turn it on. Set it for 20. Let me set it for 400 degrees Fahrenheit. 24 minutes. And start. Okay, y'all. Try to do it. Make some jiffy. I'm gonna make some jiffy mix. I'm gonna make it in my waffle maker. Okay, stay tuned. I'm getting ready to flip my wings. Turn on the 11 minutes. What about this time? Let me show y'all how they look. See? Naked wings on the flip them. I don't know where to put nothing. And this um, air fryer is sitting on a handy caddy. Two of my honeys blessed me with Larry and Toby. Okay, let me turn this around. It's on five, it's on four. What is it coming up or down? Let me see. Oh, it, it just came up to pressure and I set it for. Eight, six minutes. So it's counting down and then it's gonna have another setting on here where it's gonna start counting up. So when it counts up to 10 then I'll release it. Okay, this is how the pressure cooker looks when it's counting up. So I'm gonna let it count up to 10. It has the low and then the zero three in front of it. When it counts up to 10 then I'm gonna Quick release it and my air fryer. Let's see what this chicken is doing. Mm. Nice and brown. It was on the three, so I'm gonna let it finish cooking. Now I'm gonna go over here to this waffle iron. I'm going to make some Jiffy cornbread. I'm going to put my water in here already because I have to get it out of the cooler. We don't use our hydrant water just for bathing. I'm supposed to add uh, wet ingredients to dry ingredients, but I want to get my water. So it's in there first. Cornbread mix. I'm gonna whisk it. Well, my honey's blessed me with this whisk. Actually, two whisks. His name is Bill. It don't matter if it still got lumps in the cornbread. It's okay. I'm going to add some corn in here. It's really, really good. So I'm going to cut the, plug this in when my chicken is finished. So I don't want to have three things going on in here. And I'll be so I can't cook anything. I'll have to use my gas stove. 
Oh, and I made my barbecue sauce to toss my wings in. This is everything I use. I mix my sauce. I use some of Mike D's barbecue sauce. This is, I think it's an Aldi brand here. Put some of a little of this in it. It's my air fryer, and I put some hot sauce in it. Okay, my wings are ready to be tossed. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to bring my sauce over here. Okay, stuff in my way. I don't want to put this hot air fryer on this uh, instant pot. Might mess it up. And the wings are crispy. They're naked crispy wings. I think I'm gonna put some foil in here on top of this parchment paper. Because I'm gonna have sauce all up in here and I don't want sauce leaking all everywhere. You know, I do have foil in the bottom. These smell so good. But I didn't put any oil in these. They made their own oil. Okay, I'm gonna see how this is. I'm always showing y'all something. Let me show y'all the grease in the bottom of here. Look at the grease. I didn't put not one drop of oil. So chicken makes its own grease when it has the skin on it. So I'm going to take this paper. I ain't taking nothing. I'm going to put some foil on top of it. And I'm going to coat these wings. And put them back in the air fryer for a few minutes. I want this to get sticky. Mmm, it smells so good, y'all. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'll be back. Okay, just put some a sheet of foil in here. I'm being very careful because it is hot. Pull these wings in here. So I'm going to let them do what they do. Let them get nice and sticky. It's almost time to quick release my uh, instant pot. Then I'll cook my cornbread. I'm just going to pour it all in here now so I can watch this bowl. Get rid of it. I like to clean as I go. Because if I leave anything, I ain't going to watch nothing until after I'm through eating. And Walter, he'll make a mess, but he'll clean up. Well, he'll clean at his mess. Before he eats, but now I like to eat while my food is hot. Okay. It's time for. Okay. See how that looks. So I'm gonna set it for how many minutes? Um, is it still on 400? No. Let me back on 400. Start. And it's set, it's preset for 15 minutes, so I'm going to put it down to 5 minutes. Just in case I forget that it's still cooking. So it won't overcook. So, now. This is ready to be released. It's on 11. So 
I'm going to turn it this way. I want the stain going under the cabinet. We'll be back. Okay. I'm tired, y'all. I'm ready to switch my tail down. I'm going to plug this in. And I'll plug it in when I'm actually ready to use it. Because it's getting hot. It starts getting hot immediately. The red light comes on. I don't know if y'all can see the light. There's a red light and a green light. The red light comes on, let me know it's heating up. And the green light will come on when it's actually heated. So I'm gonna need to spray this with something or butter it. I've had this a long time, so I hope it don't kill me. I can't believe it's not butter spray. Whoa, man, you scared me. You ain't getting no dinner. Why you do that? Good work. Scared me. Well, let the water run in the bowl. Okay. Hope this don't kill me. This butter is really old. I'm making um, cornbread waffles. I had the lid on there. What happened to it? I don't know. Close this. Wait for the green light to come on. And the uh, pressure cooker is getting ready to drop. The little red button. It's this red button right there. We're going to hear it drop. See what the chicken is doing. Oh, it looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Wait for that to drop. Wait for that green light to come on. We got too many eyes in the fire. There you go. Okay. We're gonna see. Turn this, I'm gonna open it up away from me so the stain can go that way. Not in my face. Yes, 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 yes. The rice cooked. The right amount of rice to things. Let's see what Walter wants to eat the chicken wings. But we eat funny stuff like that. I don't want it. I'm gonna let y'all see how this looks. I gotta take it off again. My red beans with the rice already in it. We usually cook the rice separate. You know, so I might as well put everything in one pot. I'm gonna take the onion out and I'll see how Walter what he say about the chicken wing. I don't want no chicken wings in my red beans. He eat the bacon too. I don't eat that either. Okay, the chicken is done. Let me see. Those wings are perfecto. Yes. Turn that off. No, I already turned this off. I want to taste it. Okay, this green light came on. Can't hardly see it, but I heard it. I'll see how much mix this will take. It's supposed to take up to a cup and a half. So, how much is this? This is almost two cups. We're going to see. I want to use it all. So I'm being hard-headed. 
We're supposed to go into those overflow cha chambers. Uh oh. That's good. I ain't scraping nothing out. Uh oh. I'm scared. It's gonna go everywhere. I'm always doing something. So the red light is on. We're gonna see if it's no mess. I'm tired. I wanna sit down and eat. Okay, y'all. When this says it needs a cup and a half and no more, believe them. Because this stuff was all over my counter. And this flick, the green light, I mean the red light came on. Let me see, is it done? Hello. Let's see how done this thing. Let's see. You'll see. So I want y'all to see real time cooking. And if y'all buy something based on what I told you about. I want y'all to see how it really is. I don't want to do something off camera and then y'all get it home and then it don't act like I said it's going to act. Oh well. That's a cornbread waffle. You're supposed to be able to eat these things in the chambers. I don't think they finished cooking. You know what, you can put hot dogs in here and let the batter flow on there. Make you some corn dogs <laughs> right in the chamber. Okay, I ain't gonna fool with this right now. Oh, there it comes. I don't want to drop this. It's hot. Oh, it would be nice to unplug it. Because there's no on and off switch. You have to unplug it. And only touch the handles that are meant to be touched. Don't touch no part of the top or the sides because it's hot. So look at my cornbread waffle. This is a whole box of Jiffy. I'm enjoying my new toy, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna take these out. Ouch. Ouch. Woo. That's still cornbread. That can be mashed up in some beans. Mm-hmm. So. I had the time cleaning all this stuff off the counter. So this is real time cooking. Okay. I'm using something plastic to uh, scrape this off. I don't mess up the finish. And I will clean this later. It's easy to clean, but I'm going to wait till it cools off first. Okay, I'll get this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to fix my little blue bowl of food. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'll be back when my stuff is dished up. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I want you to give me a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back. Okay, this is my dinner, y'all. Cornbread waffle, barbecue, air fryer, wings, and red beans and rice cooked in the instant pot. Yeah. 
It's too hot to taste. Mm -mm. Okay, I guess y'all want to see me taste something. Red beans and rice. This steaming. Y'all see this steam? Taste a piece of the cornbread. It's soaked through and through. Tastes like Jiffy. It's just a waffle. <laughs> See that cornbread is soaked. Okay. I'm gone for real now. Bye. Bon appetit.